We can also... Santa is a betting... a betting entity. We'll also be doing the hit list as well. Santa has a naughty and nice list. These are the naughty ghosts, all the ones who have been crossed off here. We can get a prediction, and if we'll see these ghosts again, they will be considered repeats. If not, they will be new ghosts. You can use some channel points, you can win some channel points, or you can win some coal. With a prediction started now, we will start with high school and the weekly challenge. So, for those who missed the weekly challenge yesterday, the weekly challenge is, of course, tag your it. The ghost will chase you immediately. Better get running. It's very simple. It is zero sanity. It is three evidence. You are at 150% speed with sprint. Uh, the ghost is normal speed. And it's simply a pain in the butt. <laughs> but we will get it completed. We will get our three out of three. Yes, it's a pain in that right there. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> oh, do I have a cough drop next to me? I do not have a cough drop next to me. Santa requires cough drops. <laughs> Hold on. You've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. As if my real mustache is not causing enough trouble on me eating it. I'm eating Santa's mustache. <laughs> yeah, can you get me two, I guess? Two, -ish, two should be on. Six. Six is fine. Six is good. <laughs> Alright, who do we got? We got Carlos Robinson. Alright, Carlos Robinson. Um, I'm not going to bother with any of the uh, objectives. Uh, this is simply get in, survive, discover what the ghost is, find the ghost room, and hope to catch a glimpse of an ability. So if we can get an ability, we can figure out the ghost very quickly. If not, we're in trouble. Okay, we do have the breaker on the first floor. That is good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Claus. Why is this chair wet? Why is this wet? Those damn reindeers have gotten into my cough drops again. Ugh. Can't take them anywhere. Alright, let me turn up my brightness, of course. I think I did, uh, three... I think three was fine. Yeah, this, this, um, was not the best of the challenges. Uh, why do I feel like I'm, like, a hundred foot tall? Look at this! Santa is huge! <laughs> I'm all the way at the top of the door. Wait, wait a minute. Something's not right here. <laughs> oh, well, that is what it is. All right. Let's see if this ghost will hunt immediately. Ghost is hunting. Uh, let's see. Let's listen. Do we hear anything suspicious here? Don't hear where it's coming from. I don't hear anything. Oh, oh. Sounds like normal speed. I don't see it for a second. Where is this ghost? There it is blinking. I want to say this is just a phantom. Nah, it's not a phantom. I can see the blink. Alright, please stop hunting. Please stop hunting. I'm trapped. I'm probably dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a phantom. Uh, I mean, this one's just a toss away. I just couldn't see the ghost. Let's just go with one that we can't figure out. Uh, how about an Oreo? Let's see if we just get lucky right off the bat. Hmm? Oh no, it's all right. It was a ride you. I prepared some jobs for you. Yeah, it, it's uh, the ride you on this is a little bit tricky to figure out because there was no electronic sitting down, so it just sped up and then and then got to me. So, but oh, wrong one. Let's uh, 
hop back in. I will mark that as a repeat. That is one of the ghosts that I have had already, unfortunately. I tell you what, I won't even mark that as a correct ghost. Um, I will just leave that go. We'll chalk that up as an oops. We'll just try again. <laughs> Let's just try again real quick. Nobody saw that. All right, let's see. Yeah, I see. I didn't hear it speeding up. All right, there we go. Exactly. Ghost is hunting. Wait a minute, ghost isn't hunting. Ghost is in this area. Ghost is hunting. So it's hunting from upstairs, I believe. All right, let's turn this up a little bit. Where is it? Behind me? Gotta be behind me. I don't hear it. Miling? There it is. There it is. Did you see it? It was blinking for a second. That is a Miling. I did not hear a single footstep. We're just running out with Miling. I saw the ghost flash for a second in front of me. <laughs> you naughty, naughty miling. <laughs> that was a very simple one. <laughs> and there's my five grand right there. There you go. All right. That is the weekly challenge complete. Simple as that uh miling is unfortunately a repeat i tried i tried miling was a repeat so either way we had a repeat all right so now we get to play the game santa is happy santa is pleased santa is very strange for talking to himself in this third person here all right let's shift it back up let's go back to uh, let's just do regular old nightmare to start. Santa had a nightmare once. Those damn elves replaced everything with coal. All right. Uh, let's see. Let me make sure I get all my equipment back. Let's do some educational runs now. Let's just go ahead and start it out with Tanglewood and let's do a prediction. New prediction based off of all these guys here. As you see, I've had a few repeats. And I have... Uh, let me think if I remember. Did I actually... I believe these ones were all correct. The only one that I ended up getting wrong was a demon? Was it a demon or was it a wraith? I think it was a wraith. Wraith was the only one that I actually got incorrect and I missed. Everything else I did get right. All right, let's just play the game now. Santa's mustache is itchy. We've arrived. Oh. Check the equipment. <laughs> oh, good lord. Got the intel. Looks like James Carey. We've got James Carey. Let's say we need parabolic firelight and that. Santa needs to turn his brightness back down. There we go. Okay, so running on normal nightmare here. Uh, we're going to go with these three pieces. Usually do that. We're, of course, on Tanglewood. So I will try to kind of explain everything as I go through. It's typically how I run 
pretty much all my streams anyway, but with uh, kind of the educational streams, I'll try to like answer any questions and all that good stuff. And I'll try to explain every little thought that I have as the ghost is doing things. Uh, we do have snow outside, so the temperatures are going to drop faster for the ghost. Uh, so that's going to be easier to find the ghost room as soon as we see that temperature dip which it's dipping immediately. So it is in the kitchen or dining room. Um, because oh, we got the bone right there. There, very, very nice. Uh, looking for the bone as well for the perfect investigation bonus. Um, ghost is near, but is not in the kitchen. So you'll see the temperature raise as I move rooms. As soon as it starts dropping again, we'll know exactly which is the actual ghost room. So if we go back to the kitchen, we'll see it dip back down again. And if it goes back up, then we know the ghost is not in that specific room, but is nearby. Temperature keeps kind of sitting still here. I wonder if ghost is basement. No, ghost is not basement. Okay, so this is a roaming ghost. I can kind of tell. Um, as the temperature is like sitting the same in three different rooms. But it's like sitting slightly lower. Okay, you see that? It's kind of moving back up again. I wonder if it's garage now. Nope, ghost is not in garage. Oh, I just heard something to the left side. Is that in here? Oh, I need to, um... Santa needs the HUD rate monitor back on. Nope. Doesn't. So you see kind of the ambient temperature of the house is going to start going up. As you turn on the breaker, temperature will go up in the house. But in the ghost room, it will dip. I believe I was in the right area. I believe it is, is in the kitchen or the dining. It's not giving me a solid answer, though. No. All right, I'm just going to pick up the bone. Typically, I'll actually take a picture of it. No. No. Okay, Ghost has already moved. I'm going to go ahead and immediately say it's not a Gorio. I know this is not a no a no, um, no evidence run, but it helps to kind of mark things off as you go around. Ghost is in blue room. Okay, so Ghost has moved and is in the blue room. So you see the temperature dropping and the I fear you're cold breath showing up. Sneakiness, Thank you for the lurk, Zach. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, let's drop that, drop that, drop that. Get our game. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so one idea that I have come up with, um, that I, I've seen on other streamers' things, little character on the screen that comes up and says, you know, welcome to the streamer, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you notice my little bot there, Sammy bot if you were to click on that and click on view profile it has a profile picture I'm going to use that profile picture and it pop up and it'll say welcome to the stream <laughs> that is a um, thing I will set up for uh, Fridays I believe Friday stream unless I do a like a Wednesday stream or something like that I don't know I, I'm not sure my work schedule at the moment right the second so something to look for <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> I can't I can't do that many thoughts in a row <laughs> I'm going to choke if I do all right wait a minute where am I going I'm going this way where are you <laughs> where are you ghost all right let's go ahead and start getting our equipment down uh drop that there where are you are you here are you close? How old are you? Are you here? Are you not? Are you naughty? Are you nice? Do you deserve presents? 
Do you know Santa? Where are you? Right here. How old are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you nearby? How old are you? Okay, and then we got EMF 3. We got the book thrown over. That does not mean that it is not ghostwriting. However, um, that is something that they have just recently changed. Originally, when they threw the book, that means it cannot be ghostwriting, but now it does not mean that. Okay, so we do have Spirit Box. Also do believe that is not a Dio, uh, for the simple fact that I am the Dio killer. All right, let me grab the next set of equipment. We'll look for orbs. Since we've had nothing else, I am going to probably assume that's going to be orbs. Late ghost riding or possibly dots. Uh, let's grab some salt. P pick up the camera. There we go. You know, this would be easier if it didn't fog up my glasses. That's all part of the challenge, though. All right. Let's see. We got that. Let's get some salt down. All right. And let's look for dots. Or orbs. Orbs. Not dots. Or orby dots. Dotty orbs. Uh, I don't see any here. And this is the ghost room. All right. So we got no orbs. Uh, definitely no UV. We would have seen that right there as it walked past. It is not a wraith. Gonna grab a camera and toss it in, make sure I can get a picture of the ghost. If it is a phantom, it will vanish with the picture. Okay, so that takes care of my evidence items. So now we're gonna start trying to use ability or use ghost abilities to uh, figure out what this ghost is. We're also going to knock out uh, any of these that we need. So parabolic and firelight, which will help us quite a bit because parabolic will tell us if it's a Moroi, um, if it's like extremely interactive with the um, with the parabolic. And if it starts hunting really soon, it could be a Moroi um, just because a Moroi will curse you. And then uh, on real with the firelight, if it blows out three candles, does the crucifix, yada, yada, yada. I, d I still haven't had it work properly in quite a while, so I still don't believe that that's actually an ability. As I said, I've had the on use the ability properly once on June 12th because that was my birthday. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. That was very weird. All right, let's do this. I need to grab that still. Oh my Lord, you are throwing everything. You are throwing so many things. Yokai is on the list. Uh, it could be a yokai. Yokais are enraged. They don't like you talking. And I do play with open mic for the most part. Uh, I play with toggle, so. Okay, yeah, I definitely see no fingerprint stuff. We won't be seeing fingerprints. That is a guarantee at this point that we will not be seeing fingerprints. Um, need to get some more salt and we need to get the firelight lit. And then we need to get the parabolic in there. Uh, okay, let's turn this. I should be safe without a um, smudge stick for now. <laughs> hello, comfy kiwi. Hello, hello. How are you today? I do hope you're not being naughty. Santa does not like them naughty. 
All right, let's go ahead and get the parabolic ball. We are waiting for it to blow out the firelight. Damn snowman. Cute damn snowman. Come on, give me a sign. I gotta wait until... Oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm breaking things. Santa is breaking things. That does... Santa does not like that sound. <laughs> All right, we got our parabolic. Um, we also may have just been morally cursed. So let's keep that in mind. Though we could have been morally cursed already by the spirit box. Um, it is not blowing out the candle. Though it does appear to be actually be running away from this area. I forgot to look at the thermometer. It is freezing. Why did I not look at... Wait a minute. It's not freezing. It is EMF 5. Okay, that does rule out the Moroi. It is a spirit or twins. Uh, it cannot be a wraith because it has stepped in salt. So a spirit or twins. Both of those two ghosts are extremely easy to figure out when it's those two. Uh, very simple. Uh, let me go ahead and load up with the pictures first. I'm going to get all the salt down. Uh, so we're going to clear out the book real quick. Get all the pictures. Look for the curse. Get the picture of that, etc, etc, etc. We're going to make sure we got all of the objectives. We do need a picture of the ghost. We could get it during a hunt. Uh, if it's a slow twin, we would have no problem getting a picture during the hunt. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's just get the salt in there. <clears throat> so uh, what I'm going to do now is just to try to get all three star photos. So we can literally just get salt, 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 salt. And then... Uh, picture of the cursed item and then we could do ghost or an interaction uh ghost did touch that light switch so we'll just drop this and do some over here <clears throat> there we go i'm gonna wait until it steps in all four did already pick up the bone, so let's look, go look for the curse real quick. Oh, and there we go. And there's the curse. Perfect. All right. And that's going to be all these pictures. So we do just need one more. Uh, oh, we need two more pictures. Hold on. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. One, two. Oh, that's right. The salt is only two salt. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's not even friendly. That's right. The tier one salt is two salt piles as opposed to the tier two and three, which are three salt piles. That is a big difference. So as opposed to getting nine pictures of salt, you could only get six pictures of salt. So now I do need a ghost photo. <clears throat> uh, and or I need two interactions. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is a spirit. The reason why I say that is because I have not heard a single interaction anywhere else other than this room. And that's pretty much the only interactions I've been hearing. It's been like door touch, door touch, a light switch, a step. Um, and twins, you'll hear that knock and you'll hear like a light switch all the way in a different room. It has done nothing besides in this room. All right, that takes care of my photos. So I do just need a photo of the ghost. Um, which we can get it by using the music box, but then that would be a cursed hunt. Cursed hunt are 40% longer. Quiet you. 
Uh, cursed hunts are 40% longer. So a 30-second uh, hunt, I believe, on the small map would become a minute 10 second. I'm sorry, that's double. Uh, it would become a 55 seconds, something like 55 seconds. So nearly a minute. Did it blow out the it blew out the candle? It did blow out the candle. Excellent. Good. So we just need to get this ghost to show itself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Do something. Show yourself. Uh, with my sanity so high, it's going to be tough to get this ghost to do anything. It hasn't done any ghost events, so I have literally not lost any sanity besides being in the dark for, I don't know, 15 seconds? So... <coughs> Excuse me. So, my sanity is more than likely around 87% or so. Again, playing on Nightmare. They needed to, to clean their walls. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, play on Nightmare, your stuff drains faster. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I know. All right. Okay, I need to kind of limit my speech a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Red Katsune. Welcome in. Welcome back. <laughs> That's a strategy. She said she can't talk. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, here's what we'll do. We'll bring in all the smudge sticks. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a cursed hunt. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Do an ad in progress. So when everybody comes back from ads, uh, we will continue. So we will uh, do a cursed hunt. And uh, what I'm going to do is literally just sit in the kitchen <clears throat> and we're going to loop the ghost. We're going to crouch loop the ghost so that the ghost will not speed up. And then we will pop up and take a picture of it and we'll kind of just loop it for a few seconds and then smudge it, take a picture. And um, if we have to smudge it again, we'll smudge it again. And then we will crouch and loop crouch. Um, and we should be OK with just the two smudges, but I am going to bring all four. Okay, unfortunately, I will not, I, I, can't, I can't talk too much, so this will just be a few seconds of quiet time. As Santa collects his thoughts. It'll just give me a quick break. <laughs> I hope to be back at 100% on uh, Tuesday. I hope to be. Hmm. I'm looking at it like a mirror. I got to do it this way. That's right. <laughs> All right. There we go. The ads are finished. All right. Okay. So the plan is to do a curse stunt. <laughs> Hello. First time chatter. Mike Shaky. Welcome. Welcome in. Finally awake late enough to catch the stream. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I know. I know. I, I stream very late. I do stream very late, but it is um, pretty much the only and best option I could do as of right now. As soon as I can start changing my schedule, I will. Doing some educational nightmare run here. Uh, we have deduced that this thing is more than likely a spirit, but we are at spirit and twins. Um, so what I'm going to do is do a cursed hunt. Which means I'm going to use the music box. I'm going to force a hunt and we are going to loop the ghost in the kitchen. 
we need to get a picture of the ghost so we're going to bring it over here and try to get a picture of the ghost smudge it and loop it as well and then we will pop up and take a picture and then hope to survive which we i would assume are going to be okay but you know it's faz and faz be faz all right let's grab the music box so we do have all four smudges uh, I could look for an escape route just in case, but I'm... Wait, it's twins? That sounded like a double door touch, and I know it's not a Ure. That absolutely sounded like the sound effect from a door touch happening twice at the same time. You are in here now. Oh, this is going to make this a little bit tricky. Santa does not like you. Mm. So you twins. All right. How about you show yourself while you're here? Just so I don't have to do the whole show yourself. I know you're here. Show yourself. Be kind for Santa. All right, whatever. Well, we're going to force a hunt. We're going to snap a picture. Uh, eh, all right. It is a spirit. That is normal speed. Got it. All right. You notice I just crouched and it lost line of sight of me. So now we can kind of just sit here and we won't need to use a smudge. Uh, we will smudge though as soon as it's done like right before it's done to get the um, spirit test oh you just loop back on me oh you are a tricky ghost yeah that grab a smudge there we go perfect ghost is going downstairs I think we got some time uh I didn't hit record so I'll have to do that. <laughs> 42, uh, 4211 is what I just looked at it. All right. So I will have to pull this VOD to at least grab that. That's all right. Santa goofed. Hello, YouTube. And welcome back to another Phasmophobia. Santa just missed 40 minutes of recording time. That's okay. I will splice these two together. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually I will. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But we'll continue uh, where we left off the educational parts here. Uh, we have just looped a spirit. Um, we did smudge it uh, at 42.11, according to that. Oh, you know what? It's going to be a uh, cursed hunt from now on because I did force a cursed hunt. Um, that did not sound anything different than just it was a spirit i'm gonna go ahead and just run with spirit it definitely had just normal line of sight speed it could have been slightly slower however it did not seem like it was slightly slower it was indeed a spirit Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. um spirit a it's a boring ghost you're not gonna see an ability so the reason why I said I smudged at 4211 is that the spirit has a, a three minute hunt timer. Oh, we got pills. We got pills now. Um, a three minute hunt timer. So what that means is as soon as you use the smudge stick uh, incense on the spirit, you set a timer and the ghost cannot hunt until after three minutes are up um, now that's basically only if it is already at the hunt threshold of being 50% sanity or lower for the spirit um, so if you're doing zero sanity runs it is a dead giveaway for the spirit for any ghost if it's not hunting after three minutes it's a spirit like there's no way it's any other ghost um, but it's it's always nice to keep track of it because a demon can hunt at 60 seconds all their ghosts are a minute and a half. Um, all the ghosts a minute and a half. 
and then spirit is three minutes. Spirits have no abilities. That is all they do. They are the boring ghost. They do nothing special. And half the time, they just... They just muck about with those who cannot bleed. All right. Did I get the second candle yet? No, I don't have the second candle yet. Okay, well, at least we got that one. Oh, we got the second. We got the second crucifix. Let's go. There we go. Tier two crucifix. I don't really care about the tier three crucifix anymore. Santa's head is falling down. Okay, there we go. Santa is back. Um, and then I don't care about that one. Uh, this... Oh, I do already have that. All right, how about... Salt. Salt is level 43. And 70 for the tier 3. Uh, picture camera. All right, so we will continue from there. Let... Oop, sorry, I keep accidentally bumping my mic. I don't know what I'm doing. Spirit was a repeat. We are just getting repeats. All over the place. Santa should have fixed his beard before he started streaming. <laughs> Santa always forgets. Santa is not a dental elephant. All right, let's get a new prediction. New ghost or repeat? What will it be? Ho, ho, ho. Santa doesn't know. Ho, ho, ho. Santa doesn't know. Ho, ho, ho. It's time to go. Kick down the chimney. Wait, that's not it. Kick down the chimney and... Count, count two, three. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare a call. Let's run over and steal that tree. Wait, wait, no, no, no. All right, what do we got? We got Corey Young. Well, I'm not. This is the first time I've ever experienced like these little um these little hiccups with the game. I've I've never experienced these little hiccups, and now I am. That's pretty funny. I wonder if you hit like a certain a certain amount of played or something like that, and it starts doing it. I wonder. It, I mean, they track so many statistics. It could be just like one of these statistics is is breaking it. Like after you go for so long, it just like nope. It, it doesn't care anymore. All right, Corey Young. Uh, and we have capture a photo of ghost again. Uh, parabolic and EMF. Oh, I did actually capture the photo of the ghost during the hunt. That was, uh, that was pretty, uh, it was pretty much spot on. All right. Now, another, another good thing. When you're playing... Pull the thermometer out, like if you have the tier one. Um, and I always suggest use the tier one. I don't understand why you would use any other thermometer. The tier one is by far the best. It shows it immediate going up or down. Um, but make sure you pull the thermometer out right as you exit the truck. It will give you the ambient temperature of outside. The house is the exact same temperature except for the ghost room. The ghost room is always lower than the ambient temperature outside. So if you pull it out here, it will set that as this is the temperature you're looking for. So as soon as you see a temperature lower than this, you know you're near the ghost. Just one of my uh, every time I go in the house tips is like I'll make sure to at least pull it out so that I see what the temperature is outside before I go in the house. All right, let's see. Let's go in. Let's get the breaker on. Two locations for the breaker on Edgefield. One is in the basement and one is in the garage. Uh, you saw I checked the garage first and then I ran down to the basement. So now what I always do is I look for the cursed items. Monkey paw spawns here and also upstairs. Ouija board spawns over here and it is not here. Um, I heard that. I think the ghost is up in that back room over there. Uh, music box spawns there. Mirror spawns there. Tarot cards spawn there. 
So this is either... Um, that was me, by the way. That was not the ghost. I hate when that happens. It appears to be the um, voodoo doll. Voodoo doll is over here in this back room. On the bed. There you are. Okay, let's go around up here. I believe the ghost is upstairs. <clears throat> we could always start asking it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Now, as soon as you turn on the breaker, the temperature in the house will go up. So it will go up from the ambient temperature outside of the house. But as you notice, every single room kind of sits at that 16 degrees, 17 degrees. That tells me that the ghost is not up here. As soon as you see it start to dip, you'll know exactly where the ghost room is. And always what I like to do is go into a room, turn on a light switch. You can catch a mare by walking into a room. And if it immediately turns off that light switch when you turn it on, it's a mare. All right, ghost appears to be first floor. Let's see, is it entrance way? No, is it living room? No, it is kitchen. It is either kitchen or it is bathroom. It is kitchen. You notice how the temperature is immediately dropping. It is kitchen and it just threw a cup. Okay, it did touch this door. There's no fingerprints. When there are no fingerprints, I am always suspicious of one certain ghost. Could be an Obake. So if we see fingerprints at any time, we'll know what we're looking for. We'll know it's an Obake if we do see fingerprints. All right, let's go ahead and get the rest of the equipment in. Demon! Demon! It's not a demon. <laughs> uh, EMF 5? Yes. No, EMF 4. Alright, what sucks is that it broke the lights. Ah, uh, so my sanity is going to dip if I do that. See, the reason why I yelled demon is because that is the demon hunt- or well, that is the, uh, the hunting sound. And, um, they changed this, that, um, how the events work. Now the events can actually use, like, the hunting sounds. And... I, I think they just did that on purpose to be mean. Okay, go, it, it, the ghost is in here. It's doing multiple things. I'm going to test this. I'm going to mute myself in game. Uh, it is not a mare. Mares cannot turn on light switches. Okay, that does rule out a mare. Mares typically break the lights. And then it turned on a light switch, so that rules on a mare. Hello, Gen 555. Welcome back. How are you today? Santa was officially spooked by this damn ghost. It decided to break a light. It made the hunting sound immediately, of course. I believe this could be a yokai. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you naughty? Where are you? Do you want any presents? Testing here. How old are you? An elderly victim. You are spirit box. Where are you? You are in that room. Okay, that explains why I can't find you. Hold on, I can't see. There we go. Hold on. I think it's actually in that. It is in that room. You're in utility. Okay, you're in the small room. 
It is a very active ghost. We're going to mute again just in case it's a yokai. The reason why I say that is because a yokai can hunt at 85% sanity. We got ghost riding. Something hurts. We got ghost riding. All right. Um, so we got our two evidence. Nightmares, of course, two evidence. Ghost riding spear box. <laughs> Santa man is hunting this holiday season. Well, at least I'm not robot Santa. And there's the bone. Wow, that is lucky. Okay, the bone, the cursed, and everything. I know where everything is now. Excellent. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right. Well, we do know it's not a mare. It has turned on a light switch. This could very well just be a poltergeist. Um, it is doing a lot of interactions, and a poltergeist um, does like big throws and whatnot. We all know that. It does pulte pile, blah, 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 blah. A poltergeist also has increased activity with door touches, all those things. So that is always something to watch for for the poltergeist. Uh, let's get our objectives out of the way. We need a parabolic. Um, we don't need anything else. So now we are just testing. Oh boy. Whether or not it's a Mori. <laughs> we'll also do the DO test. Um, that's when I grab the spirit box. And I uh, listen for the DO response, which I have gotten so many times. Uh, it cannot be a mimic because it has ghost writing. So, so really all I need to do is get some pictures. Let's get some pictures. Okay. You are not a yokai, so I will unmute. Let's just get some pictures of everything happening here. Drop that I there. Fear you're you are indeed there. Sneakiness, sir. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Samurai X23. I wouldn't dare underestimate your sneakiness, sir. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you. Thank you. God. Um. Okay. So nothing really happening. That's just my general consensus: is that the poltergeist has much higher interaction with objects, which would include door touches. Um, I have seen that in the thousand, what am I on? Case number 1100? Case number 10, 1068, yes. Uh, yeah, I have seen that. So as a consensus, this cup was just sitting on the ground over here. So now it's sitting over here. Um, I don't believe it's a poltergeist just because it is, it is throwing things, but it's not yeeting them, so to speak. Um, I do need to go. Oh, it did touch. It stepped in that salt. Give me a sign. Um, who, who do we have between Moroi and Dio? I don't think it's a Moroi. I did get one, one spirit box response. So, hmm, maybe the Moroi just didn't curse me. It's possible. Let's test Dio. Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna say that is not a Diogen. And if it's a Moroi, I am dead. Where's the light switch? Oh, wow, I can't see. I am completely blind. Santa is blind. Yeah, okay, there we go. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure you get the picture. Uh, Diogen has an 8% chance to respond uh, with the D the Diogen response, which is the <sighs> I have caught I b 
believe 15 Diogens with one question. And it was a streak of, I believe it was six in a row. When it was the first question, when I asked where, like before I even finished it, it did the Diogen response. So I am very confident that this is probably not a Diogen. Diogens do not like me. All right, let's go ahead and do an assault. Oh, not that there. Thank you. Go ahead and step in that salt too while you're walking over there. Uh huh. Get that. Let's get the bone picture and the dirty water picture. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. So, what do we need? One more picture. Uh, four more pictures. Okay, four more pictures. Okay, don't accidentally click stop streaming. Stop. Stop doing that. How many times I swing over and accidentally click that button? There you go. Step on that one. Step in that one. So I need one more picture of this one here. Or are you doing something? Throwing something? Give me a sign. Do something. Show yourself. Give me a sign. Do something. Show yourself. Give me a sign, do something, show yourself. Thank you. I need one more picture. Also gonna say it's not a Dio. Um, I did just have a spirit just last, uh, last house, but it was a lot less interactions. So that's just why I'm kind of narrowed it down to poltergeist right now we are going to set up a pulte pile it is a must it is a necessity for every for every possible pulte you always set up a pulte pile because if you get the pulte pile explosion it is the greatest thing in this game I think between that and the DOJ response those are definitely my two favorite well and the the ure the Ure door slam, that that's caught me off guard. It is absolutely hilarious as well. The fact that I haven't been hunted yet, it's not a Moroi. Are there dishes up here? I thought there were. No, there's not. Can I grab the snowman? Can I throw you in the pile? No. What is the point? What is the point? Yeah, like twice ever. It, it 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 took quite a while like it took quite a while before I finally got like the first time that I've ever had it and then ever since like I I kind of changed like how I ask on the spirit box it, it's been constant it's been every single time it's like because I'll, I'll set it up I'll, I'll walk into the room and be like Dio in three, two, one, where are, and it does it. And it does it. It works every time. It's like the game is listening to you, just waiting for the comedic timing. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, it's not the best pile, but oh man, come on. Ah, oh, you, you gotta sit still, please. All right, I also came up with another game. Um, so yesterday I learned that you can throw things on top of these snowmen. So we're gonna load up a pulte pile on top of the snowmen. We're gonna try. That's in the door. All right, I need a picture of you, Mr. Ghost. Give me a sign. Do something, show yourself. It's gonna set this next to the pile. See if it does anything. Um, I know I would have a better response if I actually like put this in the room with it and shut off the lights. Gotcha. I think I got gotcha. you. That was a two star. I didn't get a picture of the ghost. Are you kidding me? How did I not get a picture of the ghost? Ugh. 
Oh, it broke every single light. Are you kidding me? Okay, that was the poltergeist explosion. Dang it! It touched some somewhere else. It, it did it somewhere else. Oh, man. What did it throw? I, I can't tell what it threw. I think the ghost moved. Stop it. Stop it! Stop touching that door. Jerk. <laughs> Okay, we do have the voodoo doll, so we could do uh, a quick hunt. I don't need that anymore. I've already messed up a picture, so there's no point. Uh, there is about to be an ad, so let's grab these. And we'll just get set up for a hunt. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm thinking it's just a poltergeist just based off of how many times it's touching that door. I just don't want to run in and uh, see an ad randomly pop up. I love that the Twitch ad manager has no idea that there's an ad coming. It stopped telling me uh, quite a while ago. Oops, that was my water. Okay, so while that is coming up, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked the spirit box. I got one response. I could have been cursed. Um, the ghost just now did a ghost event. So more than likely, my sanity would have been around, what, 20%? It's not possible that it's a Moroi. Um, a Diogen can't hunt until 45%. So it could, in fact, still be a Diogen. However, with my rate of getting the uh, Diogen response, more than likely not. All right, the ad has started. I will wait to uh, complete that thought. Um, it's not really a boring ghost, but it's, it's just like, eh. Hello, Wanderlust. Welcome in. Hopefully you uh, have avoided the ads. I fear you're have they uh, started? The Thank you for the lurk. Who wouldn't dare underestimate your sneakiness. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Santa is very happy to see everybody. Even the lurkers. They are nice. There are... There is no such thing as a naughty lurker. I can't get the I can't get the water in my mouth. You know what this reminds me of? Wearing this. Kinda reminds me of um oh what is it? It reminds me of the Yeti, the abominable snowman from uh Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> <coughs> Good old claymation. Another twenty seconds. So yeah, what I'm thinking at this point, um clearly it's not a mare, it has turned on a light switch. Um, it's not a boring ghost. It keeps touching doors. It keeps doing things. It's done its first ghost event. I've had poltergeists who have been just really shy and just not doing anything and then would throw one thing at a time. All right. So everybody is back here. Um, so yeah, at this point, I believe my sanity is not low enough to worry about any of these, this crew. And I don't believe it's a boring ghost. It's probably just a Pulte. Um, we're going to get a hunt. And uh, that will pretty much tell us immediately what it is. So what I'm going to do is run up and grab the voodoo doll. I'm going to keep the lights off just so I can see what I'm doing. I can't get my voodoo doll. I can't get it. It's like right in the middle of the bed. Pick pick it up, please. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what? We're going to have to set up a multi pile over here. I just thought about that. That's a brilliant idea. It's throwing things. So the best option here 
is to just load this couch up with everything that I can find. Everything that I can pick up, at least. You're following me. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't say that it's any particular ghost that it's following me. It's just, it's following me. Just always something to keep in mind if you notice the lights flashing around you. That the ghost seems to be, like, hovering around you or is near you. Alright. So we're going to see if these shoes are going to go flying during this hunt. I have a sneaking suspicion that they are going to go flying. Because this ghost is touching a lot of doors. It is definitely doing a lot of little interactions here and there. All right, that is everything. So let's grab this. Let me find my match, my matches that just, uh, uh, hopefully didn't just disappear into the uh, ether there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I saw them for a second. Thank you, flashlight. Okay. So let's see, we got that, that, and that. All right, hopefully we don't hit the heart pin, but um, if we do, oops. I'm just gonna lower my sanity a little bit and hope that it hunts on its own. Still nothing. So this is 8% per pole. So one more should be okay. Unless of course it's the heart. Ghost sounded slightly fast. It is a Moroi. So this ghost is going to get faster as your sanity drops. Moroi is fairly dangerous. Um, especially if it follows you like that. Uh oh, I may be in trouble. I may be in trouble. I think I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I'm escaping you. <laughs> wow! You followed me the entire way. You were blinded half of that time. I couldn't even, I didn't even have a chance to turn around. Holy cow. You were a spirit. You were a spirit. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. So we went from the spirit, the most boring ghost in the game, to the spirit, the single most active ghost in the game. <laughs> you were a naughty ghost. <laughs> see, oh, that, see, that explains it. 69 interactions. Yep, it explains it. That was a naughty ghost. That was an extremely naughty ghost. So you get one spirit who's the most boring spirit in the entire game. And then you get another spirit who is just the single most active and most dangerous spirit in the game. <laughs> Random chance. That is just what it is when it comes to this game sometimes. See, I shouldn't. I was too quick to call it a Moroi because I thought my sanity was low enough that it was doing a, just starting to speed up on me. Um, however, if it hunted, and that was a forced hunt, uh, with a cursed hunt, the ghost would have been slow. Um, because I lost 80% sanity, like, that was the, the ending was 80% sanity is what it showed. That ghost would have been a heck of a lot faster if it was a Moroi. So that was entirely my bad. Uh, and that is my first death. That is my first death on a few streams, actually. Alright, uh, let's move on to Ridgeview. A new prediction going up. You think it's going to be a repeat? You think it's going to be a co new ghost? Santa is upset with that spirit. <clears throat> that was not a very friendly spirit. Santa will be giving that one coal. All right, we're here. Take a look at the equipment. Santa just America drank his mustache. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Try that again. Yeah, wait. 
Uh, let's see, we got Lisa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's the Insim ghost. It's a Lisa. Lisa's are the most dangerous ghosts. At least according to him. I, I, I don't know if I've experienced the Lisa yet. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Is this may be the most dangerous ghost. I don't know. That's also case number 1069. Nice. I don't think I've been, I don't, I don't remember seeing the Lisa. I mean, I've never pointed it out before because it never concerned me that it was a Lisa ghost. Okay, uh, we do see that it is not in the voodoo now. <clears throat> Breaker is also not in garage. Um, it is not summoning circle, at least in the garage summoning circle. It is summoning circle and it is downstairs. Great. My least favorite cursed object. <coughs> Unless it's a uh, phantom. There we go, the bone. No, oh, Santa needs another cough drop. Oh, yeah, ghost is here. Perfect. All right, ghost is here uh, nearby at least. Is it hallway? Is it kitchen? Is it dining? Doesn't seem to be dining. Uh, it's not there. Peony room? You are not peony room. <coughs> you are kitchen. You are kitchen. Excellent. Wait a minute. No, you are not kitchen. It is 10 degrees getting warmer. Yeah, your dining room. Okay. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Your dining room, but you're interacting in the other room next door. Hmm. All right. Well, that's something to keep in mind. It could be a shade. Would be. This, um, this hat is very warm. Just saying. And you bet your patootie I'm going to be wearing this at work uh, when I'm stuck working Christmas. All right. Oh, dear. I have to shut off all these lights now. Who turned on all these lights, you crazy person? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you naughty? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Okay. Oops. Not exclusively ruling that out. Hi! That did a ghost event from the kitchen, did it not? It sure did. That was from the kitchen. <clears throat> I don't believe that this is a shade, but that could be a possibility like shades usually don't do any activity and stuff like that but a shade absolutely can <clears throat> that seem to be doing ghost events behind me this could be banshee could be wraith could be phantom <coughs> um let's see Ghost moved. 
Wait. Ghost moved and it just did an event down here. Hmm. Wraith is a possibility for sure. Not believing Jen because it hasn't had a random EMF 2 or EMF 3. We have to find this ghost room because it's definitely moved. Um, what do we need? Do we need the motion sensor? <clears throat> motion sensor would help with the banshee. I mean, it's definitely doing things behind me. Okay, let's grab the... thermometer and go looking for this ghost, because it has moved. Definitely threw something in here again. Or is that upstairs? No, you wait. What door is that? Is that this door? That's this door. Okay, the ghost is back here. Oh, wow. Hello there. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. It actually makes a lot of sense. So the ghost is roaming to me? There are so many things thrown, just absolutely thrown everywhere. Watch for freezing. We gotta, we gotta grab those dots still. <clears throat> All right, let's get the rest of our equipment in there. So drop that right there so I remember it. Hmm. Santa is not pleased with this ghost. Well, we know that it's moved rooms, so it can't be a Gorio. Gorios cannot change rooms. Now we can at least pin this ghost down. That does make sense. So it was coming into the uh, dining room. And then it moved into there. <clears throat> Did it touch the window? No. All right, I need this ghost to do something now. Put this over here. I mean, I've got to look for orbs first. Mm-hmm. Santa sees no orbs. Yeah. Yeah, it appears to be clear. Don't see any orbs. Okay, so we don't need to watch for Mimic. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. When did that happen? When did that ghostwriting happen? <clears throat> that was a completely silent ghostwriting. Can can Mylings hide their uh, the sound of ghostwriting? <coughs> like, completely? Uh, ghost riding. Uh, it's not freezing.
No UV. Did I have the spear monk? <clears throat> Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man. Oh, I just screwed that up. I screwed it up. I was too slow. <coughs> Where are you? In a close knit. How old are you? An elderly. Baby. Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you naughty? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? All right. Okay. More than likely not a Dio. <clears throat> Oops. I don't think it's a poltergeist. That's not going to stop me, though. It's just there's so many things kind of thrown around this room. Thank you. And a crucifix burn. It's a moroi. It's more than likely a moroi. Um, yeah, so that ghost definitely just cursed me there. Uh, the light was on. So, um, there's yeah, that was that would shut a door. Um, more than likely a moroi. Couple ways we could test that. We could take pills, reset the ghost entirely. So we can bring us back to, um, to like full sanity. And then, uh, we could, we could actually just let the ghost hunt. Uh, listen for its speed. And if we sit the darkness, you'll actually hear it speed up. <sighs> um, I don't think there was enough throws really to say that it could be a poltergeist at this point because the poltergeist can use its ability and every object it throws could be a 2% sanity drain um, but I don't believe that that's the case unless it threw the pile which I don't oops I don't think it did Nah, it didn't touch the pile. All right, we're going to take the crucifix. And what was cursed? Did we, um, did we find that out? I don't think we found that out. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. It's a freaking summoning circle. Oh, uh, it's summoning circle. Oh, eh. Eh. Okay, I did pill up. That's right. I just completely forgot that on what I did. Definitely kind of give away like what it is at this point. If it does nothing, that it is definitely just a Moroi. Um, because what happens is when you take the pills, it shuts off the, um, the Moroi curse. So at this point, I wouldn't be cursed. 
and uh, like it effectively stops that ability. So yeah, the ghost not hunting. Um, because I took two pills, so that would have brought me back to 40 to 50 percent sanity if I was at zero, which a moral can drop your sanity extremely quickly, which I would say I was nearing at least uh, like 30 percent or so. I'm just going to roll with Moroi because I would like to do some uh, at least one more and then reset and go around the board to no evidence. It was indeed a Moroi. Let's see how many times it cursed me because that is what I want to know. Uh, so we did lose 67% sanity, uh, which would make sense because it is a 50% hunter. Let's see. It abilities used. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah, I was dead. 16 curses there. So in essence, what the Moroi's ability is is a curse <clears throat> on, on um, Nightmare you have a 200% sanity drain when in the dark the Moroi's curse pretty much doubles whatever sanity drain it is um, on the difficulty so 200% becomes 400% um, but that also means that you are losing 400% wherever you are. The Moroi's curse goes through lights, it goes through darkness, it goes through all that stuff. So essentially you're losing 400% sanity at a rate of, you know, just a few seconds. In a few seconds you're going to drop a lot of sanity. It doesn't stack, so if once you're hit once, you're hit. Okay. Is there a 40 gear? Oh, is there something for 40? I thought there was something for 40. 43. Oh, there is. <clears throat> Parabolic. Candle at 47. That is just so weird. 41 for the next lighter. Uh, 54. All right. So next level is, um, the next upgrade. All right. It list. <clears throat> Moroi, new ghost. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, at this point, I believe I can shut off the overlay for the streamers for St. Jude 23. Thank everybody who did donate and whatnot to them. Um, I'm definitely going to be joining um, some charities and stuff as I can, but um, I believe that it is officially over. Um, the St. Jude Play 23 was a... Uh, was a amazing success though. Um, you see our 500 there uh, was added on to the 2.875 million raised for the $2 million goal that they had this year. So it was a um, arousing success to say the least. All right, uh, let's get a new prediction. New ghost to repeat. One more nightmare. Excuse me. And then we will switch it up and do zero evidence. We've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up. Alex Knight. I've got nothing else to it. Uh photo of ghost motion sensor incense. Alright. Well well thanks. He has nothing to report. 
<coughs> I'm sorry. If my if my cough gets any bit worse, um, I will be calling it early. So I want to make sure to get at least a couple of zero evidence in. It's just it's it's not getting better, and uh, I'm trying. trying to like keep my talking to the most like important information but it's not possible ghost appears to be in here Let me turn on the main lights in here thank you much appreciated with that uh that lightning i could see okay it is about to be an ad break in just a second. The ghost is indeed in here. All right. Good timing. It is, of course, heavy rain. It's always heavy rain. I just can't avoid it. Is it mirror? Let's see what the accursed item is. Nope, it's not mirror. Music box, perhaps? It is not music box. All right. grab uh, the main equipment there. We'll wait for that ad to actually start. Can't I, I can't wait for uh, Christmas. Sun is going to be uh, very spoiled. Very spoiled. I kept telling myself this is it. This is all we're buying. And then I'd look at Amazon, or I'd see at the store, and uh, I'd get it. I'd be like, oh, he needs this. <laughs> it's just like, oops. I mean, a bank account won't be happy about it, but that's for later. Sorry, I can't read it right now. I do really love the uh, the chat thing. I really love that. <clears throat> I was going to do the words on stream thing, but I was thinking of doing something a little bit more original and a little bit more personal. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do during the ad breaks. N not yet, at least. Like, I don't, I don't have... like the best ideas for it yet. I could do like a little game show for like everybody who subbed. I don't know. I don't know. It's something to think about. Like a little a little trivia. A little trivia master thing. Who's who's got the more uh Bob's burgers knowledge or uh Futurama knowledge? <coughs> something like that. Another 10 seconds on the ad. Do appreciate those who uh, wait through the ads. There are some pretty funny ones, I tell you that much. There are some pretty good ones. All right. Appears that we are all back. You missed nothing. I literally sat here and told myself I'm probably going to do something funny for the ad breaks eventually. That subs can do like trivia or something like that. I'm I'm not really sure what I want to come up with yet, but we will see. We'll see. It is, it is for the future, by the people, for the people. All right. Uh, let's drop this here and that. Where are you? Did it touch the door or wait, is that a very random EMF three? Is that a door touch? That is not a door touch. That was a teleport. Wraith? Phantom? 
No, it wouldn't be that. That was highly suspicious. It's a very random EMF three gin. Um, oh, there's a there's a spray paint right behind me. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Old are you? Are you friendly? Are you French? Where are you? How old are you? Are you single? Are you sexy? Are you naughty? You're naughty. You're touching the, uh, touching the breaker. <coughs> oh, I think we have fingerprints. Not sure though. Could be Phantom. Uh, Phantom would be Dots. Wait, there's fingerprints on there, but there's no EMF? That's not how that works. Ghost? Ghost is being sus. Yeah, I think about it. I could do like a little Among Us mini game in between, like when there's ads. I mean, I'd have to build it by scratch or whatnot, but it's kind of an interesting idea. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Got to come up with something during the ads that subs get special access to. Of course, I don't want anybody to miss out on anything I do either. <clears throat> All right, let's drop this here. Floating in midair, of course. Uh, see that I touched a window. Maybe. Oh, yep, yeah, there you are. Okay, so there was fingerprints over here. Are you freezing? You are not freezing. So that spirit box not freezing. Let's check orbs. Uh, I swear there's a ghost orb. There is indeed a ghost orb. Okay, you could, in fact, be a mimic. So we're going to watch your fingerprints. <coughs> we, I mean, we got fingerprints. Uh, freezing temperatures, I, I mean. Wait. Obake? Oh, bake. Oh, bake. <coughs> okay. What, what just happened there was the ghost touched the window. And there was no fingerprint. It's an, it's an obake. It is definitely an obake. There's no fingerprints on this either. It's an obake. Obakis will hide their fingerprints from time to time, or they'll show the six fingerprint. Um, that is a hidden fingerprint, and it did it twice in a row. Mimics can't do that. Uh, this is clearly an obake. I'm just going to run with Obake. See if we can't get a Willow Street nightmare in real quick. Uh, or do a zero evidence. Uh, we'll, we'll do zero evidence right after this. Right after a word from our sponsors. Not exactly a sponsor. <coughs> but you can get 10% off Rogue Energy. If you order using my code there, A C O N D O N, welcome back. There's some jobs ready. For or you. using that link right now. I, I can't get this. Ten percent off your entire order. All right, I did get the um, I did get my free samples. Haven't tried them just yet. 
Um, I will be trying them on stream Tuesday, I want to say. Maybe. I don't know. Santa will see. Santa will see. All right. So that was the Obake. Obake is a new ghost. Knock the new ghost out of there. My heart rate froze, didn't it? Yep, it sure did. I didn't touch anything. It went up to 8,000 kilobits. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Uh, new prediction. And now is when things get interesting. All right. So um, we'll go ahead and do Willow. We are going to switch it to my custom. So this right here is zero evidence. Uh, zero evidence, but with the uh, activity monitor. Is helpful for still discovering a few ghosts. All right, Larry Straffen. Let's see what we got. Okay, so. Here's the deal. It is heavy rain again. Of course. Um, zero evidence. So now. A few items are useless. 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 Can't use it. Not usable. Won't help. And that's it. Okay. So anything that gives evidence besides the video camera will not help me. If you see ghost orbs on the camera, it's a mimic. Um, so now what we do is we go in, we find the ghost room, we find the cursed, and we will work one by one, eliminating all 24 ghosts. She, um, she fell asleep on the couch. Something keeps flashing on your screen there. <laughs> it keeps opening and closing, opening and closing. <laughs> I don't know what, what was happening, but something kept flashing on and off, on and off, on and off. And she was sleeping with it. <laughs> All right, um, thermometer is pretty important, and so is EMF for this part, um, at least for the initial investigation. Photo camera is pretty vital um, because we can discover a phantom as well. It is heavy rain every single time. All right, um, just to let everybody know, I feel like I have maybe one or two in me, so this might be the last one. We'll see, um, but we'll we'll see how, what happens here. It's I'm I'm a bit worn out Let's put it that way oh we got the bone right off the bat nice we'll just go ahead and pick that up but I'm going to try do at least one more after this right we got the breaker on oh we got the Ouija board the Ouija board is one of the best with zero evidence because if you have a sneaking suspicion that it could be a Thay, you can ask how old it is. And then you can stand in the ghost room and ask how old it is. And you will see it change the age. And you will know immediately that it is a Thay. Give me a sign. Ah. Uh huh. Where was that? Wait. Mm, back back master it's a master bedroom all right ghost is in here okay excellent okay so now we play the whittle it down what could this ghost beat game i always start with the unreal because i hate them it's 
Santa has a special place for the Onrio. It is in my big red sack. <clears throat> okay, so what we can also watch for, very important, when you have the sanity monitor, if the ghost hits you with the ghost event and you see 20% drop, it's an Oni. So a bunch of things we'll be watching for and trying to, I'll try to identify as they happen. Of course, there might be something that I won't catch. It's it's normal, perfectly normal. Bring some salt in, bring a crucifix just in case. So see, we do know that we're only at, we're at 96% sanity. So if the ghost hunts now, it's a demon. And we'll kind of listen for abilities, listen for what the ghost is doing. All right, let's do a quick peek for Orbeez. It is not a mare. Mares cannot turn on the light. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, you're on the ground. I'm gonna walk into it. Oh, man. <clears throat> However, let's quick let's get out of here real quick. Let's see, because I looked at it. It could be a phantom. Another ghost event. Okay, two ghost events. It hit me with one. We were at 96%. Let's see. Holy cow, look at that. Oh, well, this is an easy ghost. Wow, look at that sanity drop. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an Oni. This is definitely an Oni. It is a 20% sanity drop. Um, there's no question about it. It's an Oni. With back-to-back -back events like that, uh, a 20% sanity drop. Like, I have to. I have to just say it's an Oni and run. Oh, it was the. Oh, you know, as I mentioned it, I mentioned it. I was looking at it. So it was a 10. Per okay, so I have to do an experiment then with the Phantom to see exactly what it is how much sanity you lose while looking at it um because that was a lot that was at least 25 percent because i didn't walk into it wow so that was the phantom um that is a repeat so meaningless so we will drop a new prediction in one second new prediction all right folks this will be the last one um i know i'm ending really early it's just i do not feel like i can go for much longer um so this will be the last one but we will meticulously pick this one out <coughs> we've arrived check the equipment and get set up before investigating Santa's getting hot. Santa cannot think. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, Raymond Baker. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting Phantom on that one. Phantoms and me uh, go way back, and they tend to do like these long events. And uh, they'll sit there for a very long time. Uh, the reason why I didn't even, like, question it and grab a camera was because of the 20% drain that happened. <clears throat> it was obviously just a 
moving too quick with zero sanity or zero zero sanity zero evidence you can't move too quick because there are things that happen the temperature is dropping as I'm in the basement it is the mirror No, temperature's not dropping. Huh. So was it actually dropping when I was down here? Nope. Nope. Definitely wasn't. Alright, give me a sign. Ghost is in master bedroom. Master bedroom indeed. All right, we got no fingies. No fingies, all right. Yeah, it's definitely in here. That temperature dropped extremely fast. And it appears to be holding at that temperature. All right, well, we will double check that in a second. Good that we got the mirror there, though, too. Oops. <laughs> Did a 360 and walked away. Alright. Um, this will be helpful. This will be helpful. And camera. As I said, the last, uh, last house. Camera is the uh, most important part of zero evidence. Make sure you have a camera with you. I didn't listen to my own advice. Just touching doors. Oh. Oh, here I am saying there was no fingies. I'm an idiot. There's no fingies. Because there's not going to be fingies. And there never will be fingies. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do this one properly. So, can't be a mimic. There are no ghost orbs. Let's grab salt rule out a wraith uh also don't believe it's a shade <clears throat> it was doing things while i was in the room with it uh we're gonna rule out the on rio right off the bat so what i tend to do first You are still in here, right? Yeah. Give me a sign. All right. Wait till it blows up that firelight, but we will go get more stuff first. It was between a yawn and a cough, and it couldn't decide what to do. <clears throat> so it did both at the same time instead. Um, grab a crucifix from that. So what we'll do is wait for the three candle blowouts. Uh, for the on Rio. It hasn't even touched it yet, so more than likely not an on Rio. Give me a sign. Do something. Give me a sign. Blowout number one. Oh, 
Okay, you are not a wraith. Okay. I've officially decided we're gonna do this. We're gonna set up the pulty pile on top of the snowman. I have a bloody camera. Okay, another vent hit me. Was this the first event or was this the second event? That was the first event it hit me with. Um, so that was 10% or 15%? More than likely 10%. So we are at 80%. I was just about to say it's an it's an OD because it was 20%. <clears throat> but we were not at 100%. Um, let's do this. While we're waiting on the Unreal test, we'll listen for Banshees. Oh, that's blowout number two. So if it blows up, that was really fast. That was an extremely fast whisper. I don't anything since then. Uh, give me a sign. Give me a sign. Do something. Give me a sign. Uh, whisper number two. No way. There's no way. Was that seriously the proper on Rio test? All right, let's check our sanity. What's our sanity? Okay, this, okay. Th there are so many things. So many implications by this. That could have been a proper on Rio. It actually followed the rules. After three candle blowouts, the Unreal uses the nearest crucifix. Or if there's another candle nearby, it has to blow it out to use that as its crucifix. We did three separate candle blowouts, and as soon as that candle was blown out, it hit the crucifix. That means 100%, no doubt, it is an Unreal. Plus, we look at our sanity. There's only one ghost, or well, two ghosts technically, that can hunt at that range. Unless it is a amazing coincidence, and it's a demon or a yokai. This is an Onryo. Did it just do it properly? As I said, it's been since my birthday. That we had the Unreal! Oh my gosh, we finally had another Unreal actually behave properly! You know how rare that is? How often I've had the Unreal, how rare it's actually behaved properly. Properly, I have discovered that the Unreal will not hit the crucifix if it's a tier 3 crucifix. It will never blow out a candle and it will just try hunting away from it because the range on the crucifix is too large 
or the candle. The candle has a smaller range. The candle's range is exactly the same range as the tier two crucifix. So if you put them right next to each other, the Unreal will register properly. And holy cow, we finally got it. It used one ability and that was the crucifix burn. Wow. A proper on Rio is a new ghost. All right, so this week's hit list was obviously pretty rough. <coughs> uh, so two, four, six, eight, ten ghosts. I only ended up with ten ghosts by myself. Ten ghosts. Ooh, I suck. <laughs> um, but mostly because I was sick and yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but as I said, yeah. I am going to go ahead and call it at that point. I do work in the morning, of course. I work the entire Christmas Eve, and then I work Christmas nights. I would like to get some extra rest. Um, I do appreciate everybody stopping by. I really appreciate everybody stopping by and chatting, even just dropping the lurks in. That is really good. It really makes you feel good. Um, I'm waiting on this ad to finish. We're gonna swap on over, say goodbye to YouTube. And well, while I'm gonna say this first, uh, by the way, fix your recording because YouTube, click this button to subscribe and click this button for another video. Yeah, I know it's short. You have to edit it.